Hey guys, I'm esthetician Trish McCartney. I work in Huntington, West Virginia with Marshall Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery. Today we're going to talk about the Halo Hybrid Fractional Laser. As you can see, it has some tubing on the side. It's really awesome and I'm going to tell you why. So this device has two hoses on the side and one is designed to deliver the cooling from the Zimmer Chiller, which is super cold air that makes the treatment so much more comfortable for the patient. And then the other tubing connects to your Buffalo smoke evacuator. So it is sucking up any smoke, any dead skin cells, which you get a ton of dead skin cells, by the way, with the halo. You have to, each time you're done with a section of the face or the body, you have to stop what you're doing take the tip off of the halo laser piece and wipe away dead skin cells and even doing that you will still have dead skin coming off everywhere so just an fyi you do want to wear a mask when you perform this procedure so i am not firing the laser at all i'm just measuring your skin right now So what I'm doing here is measuring her face. So the halo laser measures anywhere that you're treating to make sure you get the proper density that you are trying to achieve. So it's really good at making this dummy proof. I think it's fantastic. Halo is the only laser in the world that is a hybrid laser. So it has two lasers working at the exact same time together. So one of the lasers is focused on the top layer of skin known as the epidermis, which is made up of several layers. It is focusing on that. The other laser is going deeper into the dermis where the collagen is formed. That's what builds stronger elastin. That keeps your skin from sagging. That targets deep wrinkles. This targets deep acne scarring. So it is a fabulous tool. Patients should expect at least 7 days of downtime and up to 12 days depending on how aggressive their treatment is. And we say downtime, but what we really mean is not wearing makeup for a few days and you're going to be very red for a few days at least. And then you have these things called mins that pop up and you don't want to scrub them off. You don't want to exfoliate them off. You don't want to be harsh with them at all with a washcloth, anything like that. You want to use your fingertips and gently cleanse your skin and focus on hydration. We give our patients an Aven Post Recovery Kit. It is excellent. It helps soothe the skin when it's irritated after a laser. It helps reduce redness and it keeps them hydrated. It's also just great insurance for you as the provider to keep them from using harsh ingredients like vitamin C's, vitamin A, different acids that are going to irritate that skin that's already compromised. We don't want them doing that. And a lot of times patients think, oh, if I do my strong retinol right now and different things like that, it's going to work even better because they just took all my top layers off. And I completely understand why they would think, hey, now's the time. It's actually not the time. You want to use very gentle products and nourish that skin at least for a week to two weeks after your halo treatment. So I like to tell patients, wait until you're completely done peeling. And some people are late peelers. They may not peel until between five and seven days. That's not uncommon. So expect to be red for at least two to four days, absolutely. 
you should have some swelling the next day. Don't even be surprised if two days later you're swollen. A lot of people are. And there's things you can do to help with that. You can take any histamines. Uh, you could take Benadryl if you really want to. Sleep propped up. Things like that. If that swelling bothers you and you want to cut down on that, you're welcome to go to work. You can still go to Target. You can still do things. Don't think that you have to hide in your house for days. You don't have to do that. It all depends on you and your comfort level with people seeing you red. That's what it boils down to. That's what we mean by downtime. And you don't want to put liquid foundation right over skin that's been lasered off for at least, I would say, four days at the very least. That way you're cutting down the risk of infection. You're not clogging those pores up. Let your skin breathe. You just made a great investment to your skin and you want to get all the benefits possible and you don't want to have any unnecessary risk. And you get these things called mens that pop up between typically between four and five days and then usually it sloughs off by day seven or a little beyond that depending again on the aggressiveness of your treatment. So if you come see me I'm going to let you know, hey, you better expect a few extra days of downtime, especially if we combine in BBL, which is the broadband light, which is excellent for pigment and red undertones, which is why you have to have a consultation before we schedule this. There's just too many things to go over to try to talk about this in the same day and then have you treat because for one, you may not be a candidate. You may have some contraindications that... That doesn't mean that we can never treat you. It's just, hey, you've had too much sun exposure or you've done certain things or have an event coming up that maybe you weren't aware that you would have this much downtime, things like that. So it's just best to do a consultation. So that's a requirement just because there's so much to go over and consider. So back to the downtime, those men's pop up typically by day four. I can personally see that texture starting to come up immediately after I've lasered the patient, but it gets worse as the days go, and they turn like this brown color. That is actually dead tissue. That's dead skin coming up to the surface from deep in your dermis, and there's a really long name for it. I will try to remember to type it out. Basically, you don't want to scrub that off. Like I was saying, you just want to gently cleanse. And once that comes off on its own, you don't want to help it again. Your skin is going to be insanely smooth. And people just rave about their texture is so much better after the halo. So anytime someone comes in saying, my texture is just terrible or my skin's dull, it's not bright anymore... I'm really starting to see those beginning signs of aging. I'm like, halo, halo, halo. So that's my go-to. So how did that feel? Not bad at all. Awesome. And once we've reached the density that we told the machine we want to do, it starts going beep, beep, beep. And it yells at you, hey, you're done, you're done. Get out of there. But sometimes, as the provider, we know that, hey, we missed a teeny spot. Or, you know what? I just want to target that scar just a little bit more. I didn't quite get the end point that I want. Just know that it's going to yell at you. <laughs> That's okay. But it will, if you keep going, it will flash a warning at you and stop the machine from going to say, hey, I told you you're done. And then you can decide from there, hey, do I, am I actually done or not? I mean, that's just up to you as the provider. And you get really comfortable with this procedure really quickly. To be honest, the density and the tubing and all that really was intimidating to me at first because I'm used to old school micro laser resurfacing and I've been doing BBL for over five years, so... We all know BBL is complicated. If you're a provider, it is truly an art. And 
this is so easy. Once you figure out like, hey, I just have to take my time. I can't rush this. It's not a race. And you get your time down and you figure out the right settings and basically just knowing what to prepare your patient for. Like, hey, you are for sure going to be red for this many days. If you just prepare your patient, they are happy. I have not had a single person be unhappy with Halo so far. And in the cosmetic world, we know that cosmetic patients can be very hard to please. There's always going to be someone that expected this outrageous result. They expected a facelift <laughs> with a laser. They've never used Retin-A in their life. They've never had a routine skincare and here they are at 50 or 60 years old and they're expecting you to turn back the time in one treatment and that is an expectation that should not you you need to set the expectation realistically for your patient like hey you've never done anything with your skin it's probably going to take at least two halos to correct a lot of this and we're probably still going to need to do some things so just giving your patient realistic expectations is key and you know if you set the bar a little lower when you give them an amazing result they're like whoa they're happy because you just way exceeded their expectations but like I said I've not had anyone upset so far so if you happen to be a provider watching this and you're like, I'm really considering purchasing the Halo, don't even think about it a second longer. Call up your rep today. This thing is so worth it. And I researched lasers for over two years before I um, worked on a pro forma for my administrator. I made sure, hey, this is the one because I work for a large company that is associated with a hospital and a university. So although we have money to spend, you have to prove that what you're asking for, all that money you're asking for, you better have proof that it's going to bring in a profit. So I was not trying to buy just anything. I wanted to research, 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 because I knew I was not going to be able to make a purchase you know, a few months later if I wasn't happy with it. Plus, I don't want to waste my company's money. I spend their money as if it were my own. And hands down, Cyton is the best laser device out there. I don't care what anyone says. I will fight you. Cyton is the best. And I can't say how happy I am with this. Even one of my doctors who was a little skeptical, he's like, wow. He was very pleasantly surprised at how good this actually is. If you're a doctor who's very old school, and you're like, well, is it just, is it as good as the pro fractional? You can crank this thing up. You can turn it up and be very aggressive. So yes, you, you're going to like it. And I highly recommend that you go to one of their conferences. If you reach out to a rep and you show that you're interested in the device, a lot of times, they will give you a free ticket to come to a conference and check it out in person and see what it's all about. And these people are really nice. They'll let you step in and get a little hands-on experience too to make sure that, hey, this is what I'm looking for. You may have to travel a little ways to get to a conference, but totally worth it. And they also do clinical training included with every laser purchase. So it's all around good stuff. And as you can see, the patient in this video is very comfortable. She had very minimal discomfort. Even when I go down to her neck and chest area, she's still pretty comfortable. Now, I like to, in between when I am not firing the laser, I will take the Aven Thermal Spring Water and I'll just spritz their skin where I'm not treating. And that cools them back down because you don't have that Zimmer Chiller on their face any longer when you go back down to their neck or their chest. So as soon as you take the Zimmer Chiller off, they're feeling that heat. So if you can spritz them with some thermal spring water, I highly recommend that. You just want to be careful where you spray the water. You don't want the water to hit the neck or chest wherever you're treating because this laser is designed to pick up water. So that means you're not going to get that deep aggressive treatment that you're aiming for because it's going to be working on the surface level. 
rather than looking for that water down in the dermis. So going back to, it's pretty obvious that my patient's very comfortable. I want to also say that this is a longtime patient of mine. I have seen her for nearly the five years that I've been with Marshall. She typically does microneedling and actually wanted to do microneedling with PRP during this appointment. And I said, you know what? We have this new device, the Halo, and she's all about anything new. She likes to do microneedling as a preventative rather than doing injectables. And I personally choose that route myself. I do laser, microneedling, chemical peels, things like that as alternative to aging. And what I like about it is just not focusing on wrinkles. It's focusing on texture. It's focusing on the overall health of the skin. That's why I like these options so much. If you are enjoying this content, don't forget to follow me. So I don't want you to think that I'm against injectables because sometimes people think I am when I say things like what I just said. I think some people, it's a more of a benefit for them to do things like laser and injectables. It really depends on the patient, and that's why, again, consultations are so important because we design treatment plans specifically for you and what your goal is, what you're comfortable with, and some people just are not comfortable doing injectables, and that's fine, and I'm not going to try to talk anyone into anything, but I do prefer doing things like this to prevent aging for myself and that's how this patient feels about it all so that's what I'm saying and it's just so good because it's not only correcting any minor fine lines that she's getting it's going to also boost her collagen to keep those results and keep her skin from aging further and reverse what little she has. I mean, because look, she looks great. And a lot of people ask me, how often should, should I do this procedure? How often should I do this to prevent aging? It really, again, depends on what's going on with you. Like, what, what do we need to do? But say, in her case, she's young. She has little to nothing going on other than very minimal you have to look closely to find it. Very minimal beginning signs of aging. And then she has that little scar on her left cheek that is hardly noticeable, but we've improved quite a bit just through microneedling alone through the last few years on and off. But doing these treatments even just once a year makes a huge difference, especially for someone young like her. Um, if you can do it twice a year, even better. And it doesn't have to just be Halo. You can do a Halo, get your skin really awesome, and then switch to microneedling, switch to chemical peels, switch to nano laser peels, anything that is encouraging that collagen to be boosted. But if we're talking about someone in their 60s who does have more damage, we're going to have to do, if they've never done anything, a lot of correction first. So that's going to be a series of treatments if we are correcting something. That's so important to set that expectation in the consultation. And then we move on to routine. So here I'm spraying that thermal spring water and you can see she likes that. So Halo can be done on the body. As you can see, I'm doing her neck. I personally include the neck with every face treatment. And some people think that's weird as far as like providers and trainers go. They think I should charge more. It is a little more work, especially with Halo, but it's going to make your results amazing. 
and to me it's worth a little extra work and you can do the chest you can do the back the arms anywhere on the body I want to also mention this can treat melasma you are going to have to lower your density though it's going to require more treatments because you just cannot put too much heat into the skin when you're treating melasma likewise you want to lower your density when you treat someone who has skin of color so one thing that attracted me to the halo was the fact that it can treat melasma and it can treat all Fitzpatrick's so it can treat even African skin and that is what got me because I absolutely hate when patients come in and their skin is very dark and I have to tell them that I can't treat them and it's frustrating but now I don't have to do that now I can tell them I finally have something for you so that has made me so happy that I'm able to be more inclusive to everyone and it's just truly an amazing product another common question I get is how long will my results last from halo so it all depends again on the patient's skin their anatomy their genes and what products are they using at home because if you're not taking care of your skin at home and you're just slapping on anything you found from Dollar General or Walmart. I'm sorry. It's really not going to last as long as someone who invests in products that are good medical grade skincare. Like that's just the reality. And you don't have to spend a million dollars. We actually have products from a Ben Skincare. You will find out if you watch this channel very long. Huge Aven Skincare fangirl right here because it's affordable and it actually works so i'm all about it we also have a saracel which is a great local product that we buy and it's excellent it's top of the line so we have affordable products and then we have very high-end products we try to cater to everyone and every skin type so we have options and as far as how long will your results last let's assume that you're going to take care of your skin properly and have proper sun protection your results will last at least three to six months because your collagen is up your collagen is working harder but as we age that does slow back down if you're not doing something to boost it back up so at six months, if you want to do something to keep that skin healthy and keep that collagen up, you don't have to do another halo because I know this gets expensive for some people. You can do a microneedling. You can do the chemical pills. Like I mentioned, anything that is slightly aggressive at least because facials are great. I love facials. I think they're awesome at keeping your skin healthy, but you're going to need to do more than that to keep that collagen back up that's just how it is if you are someone who is older and we did a lot of correction i actually might tell you to do it quarterly to do it seasonally with every season change do something that keeps that collagen boosted so again going back to that consultation going back to the treatment plan we'll talk to you about all of that
So I can add the chest on the same time that I'm going to do your face and neck. I do need to know ahead of time because this actually is quite a bit extra work. So I'll need extra time. I've sped this video up just because this video would be so long if not. This will be an extra fee just because it takes a lot of extra time. So I do have to allot for that time and charge appropriately. And we can talk about all this during your consultation. I probably wouldn't charge one more full halo treatment. I would give you a discount if you're already doing your face and neck. But if you do schedule this separately months later, we would have to charge you that full price. So here's a photo of the post recovery kit that we give all patients who get halo and what I give my micro needling patients to use after the treatments. You will get that thermal spring water that you saw me spraying on her right there. This sheet mask is designed to take redness out and calm the skin. I typically recommend that they use it that night. They also get the sickle fate restorative cream that significantly reduces redness, nourishes the skin, hydrates. It's amazing. It's the one that I mentioned on my channel before that cleared my daughter's hand, foot, and mouth extremely fast. Recently, a patient came in who wanted to talk about the halo. She had poison ivy on her neck. And again, she was just there for a consultation. I said, hey, let me grab you a sample of something and I want you to use it. She wrote me three days later and was like, I'm shocked <laughs> that I cleared up my poison ivy already. And one of her doctors, she works down the hall for another office. He <laughs> wanted to get some. He was so impressed. So I'm just saying, this is good stuff. It's very healing to the skin. This kit also comes with a little tiny, extremely gentle cleanser. You really don't even need to wash your face that first day. But it's in here for the days that you do wash and you just need very little. Because again, you shouldn't be caking makeup or anything on. And then this kit comes with sunscreen. Some of my patients might be watching this saying, well, I didn't get sunscreen when I got this. These are the more updated kits. I've been just now started putting sunscreen in the kit. So that's what that's all about. But I love this kit. I highly recommend it. Hope you all found this video helpful. I originally filmed this for patient education so that they could see if this treatment might be right for them. But I also wanted to do a review so that providers out there who are looking into the Cyton device know what to expect and to hear a review from a provider who works with lasers. Often I've been doing uh, laser work with Cyton over five years now absolutely love them. Like I said, it is the best laser device, hands down. We have the Jewel X system, which has BBL Hero. It has Fraxel, Profractional, and the latest Halo. So we are very happy with it and highly recommend it. If you have any questions or um, need clarity on anything, please comment down below. And I'll also have links to my personal accounts, my Instagram and Facebook. Thank you so much. Please give it a thumbs up if you found this helpful and share with a friend. Thanks so much.